developing story out of Kanawha County. Police in Kanawha County get more than they were bargaining for while serving an eviction notice. A severely decomposed body found inside the home and the man on your screen now found in a closet. It's important to note he is facing a charge called obtaining under false pretenses, and that is not connected to the body found inside the home. News Channel 3's Matt Lackeritz was in Bell today, where investigators are still trying to work out who the person was and how they died. A strange turn of events unfolded Thursday for several Kanawha County Sheriff's deputies. What began as officers sent to serve an eviction notice soon spiraled into an investigation of a body found inside that same home and a man hiding in the closet. Chief of Detectives Sean Snuffer says he doesn't know how long the body has been in the home, but it's been quite a while with the body becoming severely decomposed. That's very shocking, uh, of course, uh, when we walk into something like that, haven't received any reports of it. Snuffer says right now, they're treating this as a suspicious death. The man found hiding inside a closet of that home is this man, Michael Johnson. Deputies tell us Johnson is the son of the legal tenant. So far, the Kanawha County Sheriff's Office has not yet charged Johnson with the crime relating to the body found. According to a criminal complaint, Johnson's mother hasn't been seen by neighbors for several months, and Johnson has now been charged for wrongfully claiming between five to $6,000 of his mother's Social Security benefits. One of those neighbors, Norm Atkins, says he didn't know what to think once police pulled up Thursday morning. But after learning about the situation, he's happy they arrived. I'm glad they came and did what they did so they get this for it went any farther. The individual we have detained was living here. He was staying in the house uh, while the decomposing body was in the house. Snuffer says the body is so severely decomposed that right now there's not really anything they can tell about their identity. Even their gender right now is a mystery. Snuffer says there is a second person known to live at the house, but it's too early to know if the decomposed body is that person or someone else. I just can't see how someone could live in the house with a decomposed body in it. Matt Leckritz, WSAZ News Channel 3, Bell. And that body that was found is being sent to the state medical examiner's office. We have asked Sergeant Snuffer if more charges can be expected to be filed. Right now, he says it's not yet clear. They are going to be consulting with the prosecuting attorney once the autopsy is complete.